Hello guys and welcome back to the world of tech, I'm Darren Don. Today we're going to be looking at how to properly protect your devices. So, today we're going to be learning the best way to protect the iPhone 4. If you're anything like me, you hate scratches, you want to keep your device looking brilliant. So today we're going to be having a look at, well, anything from a £15 case to, well, a $2, sorry, £2 case, something like that. So, this is my daily case of choice, I just like it because it looks very businessy, professional, and that slides in like that. You get a little lever, you pull the lever, your phone slides up, you can pull it very fast and your phone will not shoot out like a, well, a rocket. So, if you wanted the cheap cases, go for cheap but not too cheap. Cases like this will cost you about five dollars or three, two to three pounds, and you can't even open them properly, they break dead easily. Over there you can see the cracks and, well there you go, just twisting it I have broken the case. This is actually a iPod touch case, but it's made the same material with the iPhone 4 and, well, 3GS. And the leather is very, very cheap. And you drop it and, well, sorry, tell a lie, it has just cracked by me dropping it. That corner has just chipped off. So, that case, don't use it. Then you could go with a bit more protection. Let me show you the Balkin case. This is actually one of them that Apple ship out. It's very basic. So it snaps in like that. You get a pretty nice feel. It doesn't add any bulk. And you can slide the phone and it isn't going to scratch. But this case will scratch dead easy. That's okay, but obviously it's not going to protect the front of the screen. So you drop it face down and you've been screwed. And also, getting it out is not the easiest thing. So that case is okay, but it's for basic, basic protection. The next thing I recommend is certainly not to use one of these. This is basically a slide in and out thing. Very tight to get in. This is actually a, no a Nokia one, but you can pick them up for the iPhone. So that, well, put it this way, your phone can very easily slide out. You don't want to do that to obviously avoid damages. One of the next things is a Zag Invisible Shield. Now the Zag Invisible Shield is basically a piece of plastic that goes over. Go back and check my review, there will be a link in the description to that. I did not like that for certain reasons, check out the review and you'll know. But one of these cases I really recommend. While using the phone you have no protection so if you drop it, but taking it out of your pocket if you drop it you're practically covered and even turning it upside down the phone is covered by that piece of strip there. This is actually magnetic so you can fling it around and it will not come undone. So guys, that's it for this video really. For exclusive content, be sure to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash world of tech. Your best two cases are either the black standard sliding case or the Belkin clear snap-on case. So guys, if you'd like to see any singular reviews on any of these cases, be sure to follow us on Twitter, request them on Twitter, Drop it in the comments. I'm Darren Dunn, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.